Welcome to this session on how to create a user in SAP Business One. When a new employee starts at your company, you need to create a new user for them in SAP. For audit purposes, we recommend always creating a new user for a new employee instead of assigning a prior employee's user to a new employee. To create a new user, your system administrator must go to Administration Module, Setup, General and Users. You will notice it opens in Find Mode. To create a new user, change to Add Mode by clicking on the Add icon on the top menu or using the Ctrl plus A shortcut. Enter the user code and the username. We recommend creating a named user instead of a generic user code. For example, using JDOE for John Doe instead of a generic code such as Sales01. It is important to identify whether the user is a super user or not. A super user has access to all aspects of the system that their license allows and authorizations cannot be modified. Limit the number of super users you have in the system to ensure proper controls and procedures. Once you have a code entered, the rest of the information must be populated. There are three tabs on the user setup, general, services, and display. The general tab has information like email address and mobile phone number. This information is required if the user will be using the mobile application or emailing direct from SAP. Note, if a user is going to use the mobile application, they must also be flagged as a mobile user at the top. If the database is managed by branch, you must also assign which branches the user is able to create transactions for. Optional setup like user defaults and groups can also be assigned to expedite the onboarding for the user. User defaults help to streamline inputs from specific groups of users. Default can be set up for date and time format, warehouses, which GL accounts to use for credit payments or even action preferences by document. Groups can be defined by the system administrator to set up authorizations, form settings, UI configuration templates and dashboards and apply them to a group of users. This creates consistency amongst users within the same business role and minimizes the administration time. Setting a password on initial login is required. You must enter a temporary password based on the security settings outlined in the password administration. It is recommended to set the flag for change password at next logon so the user can define their own password moving forward. If the user needs to be blocked from accessing the system, use the lock flag. This prevents a user from logging into SAP. The Service tab defaults the information from the Services tab in the Administration, System Initialization, General Settings screen. It is possible to change those settings for each particular user if necessary. The Display tab allows you to change the font, skin style, color, language it and font size for the particular user. The user can also make these changes themselves when logging into SAP by changing their user defaults. Once you are satisfied with the information you can click Add to create the user. Remember to assign a license to the user and set the authorizations before you provide the user with their credentials. This concludes the session on creating a user in SAP Business One. Thank you for your time.